This is my intro song. It isn't very long. That's all. Go ahead. Go on, watch the video. What is up, my lovely Diamond Cubs? Welcome back to Barricue Nails. I'm so happy to have you here. Yes, this is a very rare sight. Mes ongles sont propres. Mes uñas son limpia. My nails are clean. <laughs> I'm not wearing anything. Uh, yeah. But um, it's an exciting video because I have a product PR from Savaland. So they actually sent me their duo silicone brush dabber. But this is supposed to help you with your ombres when you are working in Savvy Land right there. So they sent me this to try. So this dark one here is to be used with darker colors and this one for lighter colors. So let's check out. Oh, I didn't know it comes with this. It comes with a little palette. That's cute. So we got the palette. So these are reusable. They are used for gel polish for ombres. They can be used for chrome powder. They can be used for like aura nails. So this is what they look like. Not very large, which is good. So here is the light one. You see it goes to like a little bit of a slant up and it's squishy. Squishy, squishy. So these are reusable. You can clean them and use them again. Here's the dark one. So if you see it through light, it's not like a completely black, but there is a black tint to it. Bang, 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 bang. So it came with those two. All right, I think that's everything in there. Comes with some alcohol pads with 70% isopropyl alcohol. And it comes with their instruction manual. A large instruction manual. Oh, okay. Oh, Lord. They weren't playing. Hold on. Is this all for this? Wow. Okay, they really went into it. All right, so we got it in different languages on this side. All right, so it does say that the Sal uh, Savvyland silicone nail art brush with plastic PU silicone tip and thickened copper aluminum body is not easy to deform, padding more evenly, and it's suitable for blending designs. Oh, pattern stamping, that's cool and chrome powder application and nail art. The silicone compared with the sponge is easier to clean and can be reused for multiple applications, which makes sense, helping you to do a pair of perfect nail art decoration in simple operation. So it basically goes through resilient and finger-like silicone. So the brush tip makes the shape of a finger for more precise, even strokes while the silicone surface won't leave marks on your manicure. So I feel like this is more of like, um, like a makeup sponge almost. You know, when you, if you're putting on foundation, you know, you're kind of like patting it to kind of blend it. So um, pretty much it's similar to that, I believe. 
Um, to clean it, you just clean it with alcohol pads immediately after use. Um, after cleaning, apply nutrient oil will increase the durability of the brush. Okay, so that's good. I read that. I might just add a little bit, like a little drop of cuticle oil on it. That's exciting. Um, okay, what else? All right, so it does say before you start, the black stamping gel is recommended to use Wait, black stamping gel is recommended to use with the pink silicone brush, while stamping gel is recommended to use with the black silicone brush. Huh. Okay. Avoid exposing the brush to harsh chemical chemical wow chemicals chemicals. <laughs> um, we have instructions for use. So I mean, this gives you like a legit everything I mean this right here is just for transferring patterns creating a gradient design creating chrome nail art transferring patterns so many awesome little tidbits Wow it really has everything and it also has customer care and has all their contact info and their social media and email so definitely has so much information and plenty of things for you to read and hopefully get you a good result out of all this so let me just move some things around um, and I'll be right back okay my love so you can see I have gathered quite a few things um so i wanted to try and get through and see you know how we can get some of these items to work so if i'm not mistaken the uh manual stated that we can do gradient designs pattern transfers and apply chrome powder so I'm gonna try to do those three things without ruining <laughs> without ruining the entire thing um, okay uh, let's try the uh, what did I do already okay so let's try gradient okay so I have this color this beautiful purple I cured it for 60 seconds. It says apply a small amount of another color gel polish to the nail art palette. So we're gonna put her. Uh, I'm gonna use the ring to kind of like hold it on. And I'm gonna apply a little. It said apply a small amount. So I'm gonna apply a lighter color. I hope I didn't put too much. <laughs> so I applied a lighter color. I feel like I don't want okay, I want to do middle finger. I think that might be better. But I don't want to like point it to anything. Um okay, so apply use the silicone brush to distribute the color gel on the nail palette evenly. So let's use the pink, that's the light one. The lighter one. So it said, use the silicone to distribute the color gel on the palette evenly. So I'll take a dab and I'll just do a moment like that, remove some of the excess. So we have a little bit more. Dab silicone brush onto the nails, gently patting and rolling it to the transfer. To transfer the color then cure for 60 seconds all right girl let's see oh lord pedro please don't mess this up all right so what is they patting and rolling it okay so let's do up sorry had a little time on. So, I mean, at the bottom, it would be more of a, you know, 
bolder color. And then as you start to work your way up, okay. You start seeing, oh, oh it's dripping, honey. All right, so let's start this again from down here. I'm tapping lightly. So you see, I have it pointed with that little slant up. So that is fixed, you know, towards the top of this swatch stick. And I'm just gonna try that for 60 seconds i'll be right back all right that's curing right now so while that's curing lord this is running child all right so let me use a little alcohol pad provided wipe off the gel and i'm gonna use the top how this opens up he's struggling with that little piece and just wipe off the excess on the counter Cleans up nice. All right, let's put this back in the container. Get this off. And let's see. Okay. I do see a little gradient. I feel like with a little more practice on the tool, I feel like it'll be better. I do like the lighter amount, like it is a gradient, you know, it is going from the bold to the light. So I think it did do what it is supposed to do. So I love that. Okay, next thing, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna, let's, Lord Jesus. All right, I'm gonna try a chrome powder. Y'all, I gotta find my chrome powder. Right here. Okay. Okay. So let me open her up. Ooh. All right. So I'm just gonna use the lid <laughs> of this chrome powder and slowly move the rest. <laughs> Cause y'all know chrome powder gets everywhere. All right, so for the chrome, make sure I read these instructions. Uh, for the green, the green, the green. All right, so it does say to apply a top coat for 30 seconds. I'm sorry, I had a little, like I stopped for a second. So I'm just gonna grab some top coat. I'm assuming any top coat shall do. I'm using a black swatch stick, obviously. Well, not obviously, because A, I usually do have a regular swatch stick, but I'm out of the clear ones. Um, but black to save some gel polish. Actually, hold on. Hold on, this polish is looking a little. Okay, no, I think she's fine. She good, she good, she good. All right, kiss, kiss, full coverage. All right, let's cure and oh, 30 seconds. I'll be back. All right, so that 30 seconds is up. I grabbed the darker tool and the slant is that way, it looks like. So I'm just going to pick up some chrome. Ooh, look at that. That's beautiful. And um, I'm not sure, it says Use a silicone brush to pick the powder onto the nail. To pick the powder onto the nail. So I'm not sure. Let me do, ooh. You know what, I'm just gonna do a rolling motion. And I was right. Woo 
that's beautiful. Wow, hold on, let me dab a little more. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous. I, I feel like I have never had a Chrome application this nice before. Like legit, you know, I've tried Chrome before with, you know, the little makeup um, thingy that comes with it sometimes. I, look at that. Yo, that is shiny. Honey. All right, so I'm gonna, all right, I'm gonna be back in a second. I'm gonna top coat this and I'm gonna top coat that gradient one and I'll be right back. All right, my loves, so I pulled and top coated these. Ooh, so I mean, look at the result I got. The chrome is chroming. The gradient is almost gradienting. <laughs> I'm gonna actually try another one and see because it does say, hold on, because y'all know me and instructions have issues. Because it says, all right, so apply color gel polish, which was this one. Apply a small amount of another color onto the thing, then distribute the color evenly on this moment and then dab the silicone brush onto the nails gently patting it to transfer the color then cure for 60 seconds that's this then it says simply adjust with the silicone brush to make the colors blend naturally so i'm not sure if it says like go in with another coat maybe so i might do that i'll re i'll redo another swatch of this color do a dab of this, cure it, and then I'll do a second dab of this color and maybe see if that happens. Or maybe I should do this one. I don't know. But I really like how these came out. I think they came out cute. Anyway, so while this is happening, the last uh, option that it has is for transferring patterns. So this one says, press the silicone brush onto the design onto the stamping plate. All right, so I have this tiny stamping, well, not tiny, but you know, I got this stamping plate here. Do I have a little scraper? I don't think so, actually. Um, I'll make my own out of some cardboard. <laughs> All right, so let's try. And try this. All right, I'm gonna scrape. I want the design to be facing down, so let me see. Okay, it kind of picked it up. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try again. <laughs> Actually, hold on. I'm gonna put a base coat on this because base coats will have that tacky layer, so that might help the stamp stick more. So give me one second. All right, so that's cured. I'm trying not to take too much. Um, I mean, let me try that triangle again. I mean, it's a, it's a tiny design. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I've seen people do the scrape. Oh, see, though, that took out every piece of gel polish that was in there. Um, okay. I normally cut all this out of the video, but you know what? Not every moment is perfect. 
I hope y'all are feeling all right today. I'm kind of like a four. All right, I'm gonna try that. Oh, okay, so look, it did pick up the, um, the triangle. I don't have a roller to like clean up edges or anything. But you see it, right? And... <laughs> well, it stamped the, the little triangle. <laughs> but I mean, I'm sure with the proper tools, like I don't, you know, I know that there's such a thing as um, stamping polish and things like that. So it's possible that I'm just not using the right tools, but I really like the idea of this, that it is such a versatile tool and can be used with, you know, in so many different ways. So it's pretty awesome. Just get rid of all of this. I know I gotta clean the plate even though she didn't serve me nothing today. All right y'all, so we actually gonna try it again. Um, I got these colors that I did use. Um, I redid, you know, something. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna take the tool, dab it on here so we have a good amount, and dab some off. And then I'm just gonna try and, let me see what we can do here. You know, the goal is not necessarily to cover what is there. It's just trying to blend. I can still see some under there. Let me take some off. Alright, let me cure that real quick. So this is about done. I went and dabbed once in here and then off once in here. So let's see what we can get. So this is the one that came out again and is top coated. So, I mean, it's almost about the same. I think with practice, it will definitely get better as with all nail mediums. The chrome, I think, worked the best, honestly, because there was like no spillage. You know, when you use those little brushes, it gets everywhere. You know, this was nice and smooth and very simple to use. So definitely check out this Sadaland Excelsior Nail Art Silicone Nail Art Brush. We got two that come in the kit. And then you get this adorable nail palette. Very nice. You get some alcohol prep pads. You don't get the swatches. <laughs> and you get a lovely Savvy Land huge instruction manual. So definitely check them out. Savvy Land is available on all these social media sites. Right there. So we have on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, now X and here are their emails. So I really wanna thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to 
to um, watch this video, definitely check out Stabilan's products. Fairy Q Nails appreciates you so much. Love y'all so much. I hope y'all have an awesome, beautiful day. Sending mwah, 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 and pushing those positive vibes. I don't have a lot right now, but I'm pushing them out. I'm pushing them out towards y'all. Hmm. <laughs>